Tonight, the question, when did Governor Shapiro first learn about the sexual harassment allegations against one of his top aides? And what does he think about potential bills that would prohibit the kind of non-disclosure agreement reached in this situation? Seth Kaplan asked him. We want to know when the governor knew. About allegations dating back to March that former Legislative Affairs Secretary Mike Verb sexually harassed a woman who worked in the administration. So we asked the governor. When did you first learn about the allegations? Seth, all I can say really about the settlement is what's in the public domain. Um, and I, I really can't comment beyond that, as, as I know you know. Because of a non-disclosure agreement that's part of this settlement, the governor's office paid out nearly $300,000 to settle the allegations against Verb, nearly $200,000 to the woman, and nearly another $50,000 each to two law firms. Myself and a few other House members are looking into ways that we can fix the system, changes that we can make to, one, make the process more transparent, and to protect women who work here in the Capitol from men like this, from, from men who act this way. Certainly if others have ideas on how that can be strengthened across the board for the legislature and the executive branch, uh, I'll certainly be willing to take a careful look at that. A previous movement stalled earlier this year, designed to hold elected legislators more accountable after State Rep Mike Zabel resigned, facing harassment allegations of his own. Got to keep our own house in order if we're going to criticize the governor's office. I don't think it's acceptable in any branch of government and I think we have a responsibility to address this situation in the executive branch because this is what has been brought forward to us. None of those bills we've heard about have been formally introduced yet. We'll let you know when they are. At the State Capitol, Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News.